Hey Scorpio, it's your mid-month check-in and in the crystal ball I got study and it's interesting because I'm a Scorpio and that has been a hot topic for me at the moment um, is study. So whether it's um, this kind of wanting to, to learn something or you're studying something or reading up on to upskill, that was the kind of feeling that I had or study something closely, the detail in something is of importance to you. Now out of the Akashic Tarot deck, we've got uh, card number 20, which could be a number that's significant for this mid-month reading, will, wisdom and mind. And this is the Celtic knot here, um, which is beautiful because it's got, you know, you look at the different shapes, it's got the circles and the, you know, all the different angles here. And then we've got the element fire, water, uh, the Isle of uh, Man, I think the three-legged symbol here with the crown on top. And again, this will, wisdom and mind, it's just making me think about that uh, studying to, to get to your uh, purpose, your life purpose and your higher achievements. You know what you want to do and it's divinely guided as well. And that's what this card also has, the... Um, the ascended masters coming down and divinely guiding what is happening for you. So yeah, having your angels around you at this time, which is perfect for us Scorpios. So how does that um, resonate? You know, have you try? Are you trying to find that balance? Because the energy's been a bit tricky and off, to be honest. Like everybody's all over the place, and sometimes it's hard to find that um, stability nice one we've got the soulmate kind of card here the two of cups so relationships as well coming into the spotlight and uh, i'm looking at this here and kind of going wow it's sort of again the crown from from above being watched over here nice um nice relationship energy for you scorpio so perhaps a new relationship coming in or one becoming more serious here or if it's partnership in business you've picked the right person it's um, divinely guided as well coming coming together which you know that's a beautiful card to have as our first one popping out and I feel like you are wanting to make that step into having that um, happy happy life in the future we've got the hangman perhaps you've been waiting on this for a while and here we are we've come out in our own reading after a period of change so the death the death card here underneath we've got the six of pentacles as well so yeah finally you know feeling like you've had to speak up for this balance in um you know maybe that's what's making the connection come through for you now because you've had to actually say hey hang on I've been getting breadcrumbs yeah here we go after a new beginning and not feeling like the fool anymore but taking a leap of faith and you've now got a bit better balance where you feel as though okay I think the uh, emotional and physical all of the things are starting to come together now where I'm, I'm getting balanced but also I'm receiving that uh, from others now too they're understanding breadcrumbs won't do and uh, you're starting to get in a bit more of a flow. Maybe you've taken things up to another level. Perhaps um, things are being shared more evenly in a maybe workplace setting, something like that, where you're starting to feel like, okay, I'm actually going to be able to handle the money coming in and the money going out. That kind of feeling is coming through. It's felt like you've had to wait for, for this for quite a long time, given that, like I said, there could have been a big... Um, disturbance and huge change that's come that's had to happen for this to come through given that you've got this hangman being in subs suspension with um, the death card these major arcanas but again divine guidance it takes time for the right uh, people or partnerships to be brought through for you Scorpio and I do feel like it is here and if if you're still waiting it's just because again they're trying to line things up here trying to get all of the um, components together let's just see what we're going to get this is for people who are um, you know it's a romance and twin flame oracle I don't really like the term twin flame but um, 
it's a deck that just has some messages for those that are still uh, waiting on that person that you're thinking of to come through. I'm just seeing whether there's any messages that are going to come out. And here they are. So I'm angry at myself, not at you. It's going to take me a while, I'm sorry. And take care of your demons while I take care of mine. That could be significant for this hangman. If you're waiting for that, you know who the person is and you're waiting for them to come through. Those messages could be that it's taking some time for them to work through some problems that they have. But focus on your study, Scorpio, and on whatever that is on, you know, to work towards your goal. Don't get pulled off your own path because, you know, you're on the white horse here. Don't get caught up in other people's um, drums. I know it sounds bad, this one stepping over the but you know you have to keep up with your purpose you know fly the flag and um, make sure that you're doing what you came here for you're on your mission thanks for tuning in Scorpio uh, there's plenty of other videos as well throughout the month plus the full monthly read this is just a quickie just a little check-in to see how you're going so go back and have a look at the full monthly reading thanks I'll speak to you soon bye